Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today's Monday and on Monday we do zoo tours and today is a rather special zoo tour. Maybe you've seen it from the title if you read it, probably did. Maybe you just clicked because you saw the awesome thumbnail. Well, surprise, surprise, today is a game related zoo. The zoo from today is based on the game Cyberpunk 2077, which we all know is a very amazing game, yet buggy. Anyhow, welcome to the Cyber Zoo. It is a little night city, night city being the city where cyberpunk plays. As a very fanatic cyberpunk player who unfortunately can't play the game anymore because it's bugged out, uh, I love this. I saw this on the gallery and I was like, I have to tour this. I just have to, have to, have to. Anyways, it is little night city. It has 10 species in buildings. And there are a lot of them are monkeys, but there are some other surprises. It is a city of darkness and sadness. That is very true. You can see that of the old mood is very sad. It is in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to Little Night City. Well, guys, with no further ado, um, we are going to go into this video. And I have to say, I am very enthusiastic about this. And um, the first part of the zoo we did in day, but then like after two minutes we switched to night because that is way, way, way better. I'm rambling on with no further ado, guys. Let's get into this amazing cyber zoo. Well, hello, guys, and welcome back to the actual zoo tour. As you can see here, we're in the cyber zoo. Um, I chose this on purpose because I love cyberpunk, but also I'm going to slowly turn you guys around to behold the side of the city. So if you've played Cyberpunk, you are very familiar with Night City. I am familiar with it, so um, let's just turn it into night and see how amazingly pretty this is. This is totally the way the game is. Well, obviously, uh, well, I can't play the game anymore because it's broken at the moment, but when I was able to play it, this is totally the way it looks and it is absolutely amazing. I love it. It is literally in the middle of nowhere. And then next to the edge borders of the city, you can already see here the dry lands. There are people living there just like in the game. And I absolutely love it. Now I am gonna tour um, this zoo, I think, in day, because then I can actually see the animals. Otherwise I can't find the animals. Um, but in the end, we will have a closer look in night as well. Can you just see? All the pieces of rubble here man these are so many items this must have taken you forever so we have the spawn points right there and then we are heading into cyber zoo press play and let's go you can already see the commercials of gulpy missy good oh i love this this is so new so something i haven't seen before missy good. i'm still wondering whether i should view it at uh, daylight or nighttime. We'll see, man. I didn't even know where to go. Where shall I go? I can hear capuchins. I'm just gonna go right. I have no clue what's open, what's not. No monkeys. So, this is a habitat for the orangutan. So, I'm guessing this will be the entrance. Yes, okay, well. Oh, there they are. I just hear it pumping around. Whoa. I love the way that's all metal in here. And it goes up even more. This is going to be probably a long zoo, uh, zoo video because I want to explore this. Look, if you're a monkey, you can just go literally anywhere. It's insane. Oh, look, they're here as well. And because of the metal, they're kind of like shiny, which I really like. No more goo goo. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And then the water coming out of the pipe. I am honestly very jealous that I didn't think of this. Okay, just, just, I, I'm really jealous. I should have thought of this. I really, really adore this. So here's obviously then the entrance to keeper hut. Yeah, that, that's the keeper hut. And then you have this backstage area maintenance the staff facilities animal transport these cars look at the smoke coming out of there wow lucky he <laughs> he oh get lucky he <laughs> he world 
No future. 91 joke inside. Well, what's the joke inside? Oh. So funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I don't even know where to look. I'm just in awe. This is so cool. Okay, people are standing in line here for a Missy, no, a cosmic cow. Nature is dead. It is indeed. Well, almost is. Look at all this rubbish, man. My goodness, this is making you so long. Food is drug. Dunkirk, DD Land. No future. Let's see if anything's behind here. No, there's just. This is so cool. You have your shops there. I just want to look over it. See, there. You go out here, you go to Dunkirk and DD Land, and you actually are out in the middle of nowhere with the nomads. So cool. When I, when I played, I was corporate. I mean, that, that's kind of my style. Oh my god. 20 objects. What even are they? Oh, these are the basic shaped cylinders. That's so cool. And the way you use the gulpy signs to hang it on all the pipes there. Wow. Loony balloons. That's a lie, there are no balloons. <laughs> ah, the chimpanzees. I love the way you incorporated this with all the metal. I mean, usually, uh, oh, wow. That's big. Usually I just cry out because, um, well, you know, the animals don't have natural bearings, but this time I don't even want to, I don't want to yell that. This reminds me of that uh, one movie that was on Netflix, uh, The Pit or something, what was it called? It was about um, this dividing of system, about like equality. And there was this tray of food that came down here and it stopped at every level. So the persons at level one would get fed very good. And then level 10 you would get fit less and then eventually when you were at the, pot, the, at the pit at the bottom you didn't have anything. It was equality in life and injustice. Really good movie, kind of scary, a bit gross, so if you're not into that don't watch it. But quite good. So you have the chimpanzees on this side. I almost feel sad for them because they are so bare. So what do you have on the other side? More chimps! Look at him chilling. He's done with life. How did he get from one side to the other? No clue. Oh, we have a musical talent. Very pretty. <laughs> oh man, that cracks me up. Okay, let's just go back out here because I want to actually see everything. Maybe, maybe I should look at it at night as well. I mean, look. Oh yeah, 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 I'm looking at it at night. Never mind. Screw the damn time. We're doing night time. Look at it light up. And the outsides don't. Oh, perfect. Oh, we can still see the animals, right? Yeah. It'll be fine. Oh, I love the way you use all these neon lights. Let's just go here. Oh, this. Oh my gosh, these signs, man. Grit. The music. <laughs> oh, I have the gas station. Really nice, really clever. Ah, oh, with all the toys and the enrichment items that they can buy. Anything in here? No. Okay. ATMs. Oh, that's so clever. Oh, you used them. You Korean orangutan, that's so clever with all these Oh my gosh, how did you even make this man? Whoa Some coffee Ah more viewing points for our monkeys. See I in, in the habitats I can just use my flashlight. Although, like, I don't think the flat, the habitats are the primarily base of this zoo. I think the entire surrounding is. Born as penguins, man, mandiwi. I don't know what that means. Ah, uh, the fries. 
This is so cleverly thought. This is amazing. I'm literally in awe. Look at this. This is absolutely perfect. Make flowers for 34 TD. Wow. So what's here? Oh, oh, sorry. So here we have the gorillas. Paulsley skips. <laughs> so these were made by Paulsley. I like that you put it on there. Or I think Paul may actually put it, put it on there. Oh my gosh, look at the lights. Look, you have used the lights of the car. That's so cool. Let's just go because they obviously have an inside area as well. Yes, they have this is their inside area. Ooh, pixelated. Again, really nice. I mean, they can just look out here and be like, ugh, filthy humans. There. I feel like I kind of have to if it turn on for you guys, otherwise it's very difficult to see. I like that you didn't cramp it with monkeys, but you just put some and that they're playing with the boxes. It's really nice, really, really nice. So I wonder what's in here. Okay, nothing. I went into nothingness. So this person is going here, so I'm guessing, yeah, these are toilets. Oh! Japanese macaque! <laughs> With all the lights, I don't know whether to turn my flashlight on or off. I, l I really like this. You created this little viewing point where they could just walk underneath and go stand here. That's so nice. Wow. Like, the crazy thing is, I remember all these places. Um, I know where this is in-game. Oh, this is their inside habitat. I think. Or maybe not, never mind. I thought it was because there was a door there, but um, you never know. Yes, okay. Uh, I have no way to orientate myself. Look at this big screen. I love the way you did that. So I'm guessing this leads to this, yeah, the same empty thing. So let's go up here. Oh, this is actually really nice. A little bit of nature. Let's go left. Uh, she says while going right. Ah, mandrels. Nice. I love this little nature feature that they have. That's really cool. I feel like this may be the one of the hotels I was in during the game. Man, this makes me want to play Cyberpunk, but then it gets reminding me that I can't play because Takamara still won't talk to me, one of the NPCs, and that means I can't progress with the story. Wow. Oh, did someone just push me off? That's rude, man. Ooh. 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 I feel like we might have capuchins in here. They're all looking at something. I can hear them. I can see their poo. Let's just drop down. Yes, there they are. In the foraging pond. Or pool, whatever it's called. Oh, they have very big natural habitats. See, normally, um, I, I wouldn't say despise. I wouldn't like something like this because it's completely inside. Oh, but what you did with the place, it's so natural. Even with this, with the wisteria around it. This must have taken you so long, man. I'm in awe. I literally, I am. I can't even. 
Ah, uh, more musical talents. <laughs> I like that it lights up with the buttons he uses. It just did, okay? That's just trust me on that. Oh, and then with the lights off as well. Oh, it looks so magical. Very 2077. Ah! I feel like I don't need to put music underneath this. At least I hope, because it's really loud, and I hope it's really loud for you guys as well. Let me just screenshot this as well. It's so cool. Oh, look down there. Is that a habitat? It has to be. But what's in it? I think turtles. If anything. Maybe it's nothing, I'm just... I don't think anything's in here. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend an eternity looking, obviously, but I don't think anything's in here, but this looks amazing. I mean, just look at it. You have all the dirt here, you have everything piled up, and the rough foliage with a little pathway going through it again with all the rubbish. I love it. I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where I've been yet and where I haven't been. We're gonna need to check the animal list for this zoo. So these are capuchins. Look, there they are. Very cute, very natural. Night City. Food is drug. Ah, uh, so then we go to the other part outside of Night City. We don't want to go yet. I feel like this is a staff... Uh, oh, I thought this was going to be a staff room. It would have been perfect for this, but look at this. Oh. Even all the papers on the ground. And I have to see, what is this? It's a clipboard. That's so clever. And then the way you've used the lights to glow this place up. Power. Oh my gosh, and the cars just standing there randomly. Fancy embossing piercings. Ooh, there any be anything? Ah. I almost wish that this wasn't just a facade, but I wish that for all your buildings because I want to see the inside because it looks so amazing. And you have all these screens and it's just wow. Ooh, I have an art fuck. Can we go in there yeah, then? Ooh! Obviously the guests won't be able to do that, but look, I think we have a... Ah oh, man! You tricked me! This is just... Oh, it's going over! I don't know, I think this would be better for you guys. I thought this was a um, keeper's hut. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, you have the solar panels. And it can actually walk all the way over here, which is really, really nice. So it goes from one side to the other side and you have babies. You have this water installation. We put lovely use of the installation sprinklers so to put currency in there. Or the currents, not currency, but currents. I keep having to check whether it's not too dark for you guys, but I think this is actually perfect when I walk... Oh, traffic lights! When I walk in the streets. Because if I use the flashlight, it's really bright. And this is like, kind of the atmosphere. Oh, this is really nice. I don't even know what to say, it's just so nice. Hell, yo. Love. Yeah. We've seen that. I think we're going in circles now. I think I've already been here. Yeah. Okay, so I need to go this way. What's in here? Are these the capuchins? Let me just check for the bridge. Yeah, these are the capuchins. Okay. So now we've seen that part. Now I need to see this part. I am utterly confused. I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I haven't been. I love this, like, oh no, no world, it's bad, oh no. Like that. 
Yeah, so we've been through that site. Ooh, look at this, it's the trailer for Planet Zoo. That's so nice. Cool. So now we're going this way. I, I have to need to screenshot everything. So this is a facade. Yeah, no. Wait, it is. Never mind. <laughs> For a moment I thought it was a habitat, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Ah, oh, look, one of the cars has driven into the light post. It's actually crooked. That's totally not me. By the way, I don't do that in games. Never, ever, ever. Oxygen, 45 for O2, that's a lot. Food is drug, yeah. Yeah, these were the orangutans. I think we've seen it all, didn't we? Let me just take a lovely screenshot here. Perfect. Okay, I think we've seen it all. So we're gonna turn it into daylight for a bit. Now we're gonna zoom out. Oh wait, what's actually in here? Ooh. Facade. And more facades. I love this. Wow. Okay, I need to grab the animal list here because I don't even know. Okay, so we have seen the artifact. What about? Oh wait, did we see them? Yeah, we see. Oh, I thought they were chimps, but they were bonobos. Or bonobos, I don't know how to pronounce it. We've seen the orangutan. We've seen the artifact. No, it's a pangolin. We haven't seen that. Oh, they're mixed with the artifact. That's nice. We've seen that. We've seen the capuchins. We've seen these, yes. Lemurs. Have we seen lemurs? No, we didn't see lemurs yet. How does their habitat go? Go around. It's, it's this? That's so sad. So, oh! That's the coffee, okay. Oops. Okay. Now, have I even been here? I think I, I've walked past this, but then I went... No, because we walked in a circle. We didn't do this. That's actually a downstairs. No monkeys. Yeah, we walked past it because this was maintenance, and didn't we? I don't remember. So what's down here? Oh, ooh! It's your staff! That's quite clever! I like it with the car going up. Still wonder, ha did I go here then? I think I did! I honestly don't remember. No, I went there. I walked around it. Okay, no, now I got it. This is absolutely amazing. So I think that um, with the lemurs, we've actually seen it all. Yes, we have. Okay, well, guys, I mean, look at this. It's not the biggest zoo, as you can see. It's a little night city, not big night city. But this is so freaking accurate. And I haven't even seen this part yet. These are the gardens of the hotel. Let's see how this looks at night. Ooh. This is so nice. Obviously, this zoo wouldn't make a lot of sense for people who haven't played Cyberpunk or aren't familiar with it. But as someone who uh, wanted... Oh, it's behind here! I didn't see that. But as someone who wanted to play the entire game and then couldn't because they put a fix update that broke my game, um, you know, this uh, I kind of gives me the drive to perhaps go back into it. I am utterly jealous as to where you built this. 
it's so clever and so amazingly thought out. And clearly, you know, you know, your focus was on the buildings and not the habitats. And I'm usually not okay with that, but for now, I am. Because this looks absolutely amazing. I think my favorite bit is this bridge slash tunnel. The way that it lights up and then it, it shows the shade on the wisteria and here the vines and the moss. That's so cool. It looks really futuristic. I absolutely love it. I really, really do. And then you get here to the square. Oh my god, I, ca I can't even, I can't. I can look at this for days. You even have a swimming pool on top of here. What? That's so cool. And you have, you know, all the solar panels and everything. That's really, really amazing. I really love it. Well, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. You hear that motorcycle? I hope you really enjoyed this uh, zoo tour as much as I did. I mean, obviously, you can tell that I loved it. Um, I hope you guys did as well. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Plus, go to the creators page on Steam of this person and give him some love because this is absolutely insane. It is so amazing and I'm so jealous that I didn't think of it. Like what? So guys, that's it for today and I hope you have a very good afternoon, morning or evening whenever it is that you're watching this and I will see you on the next episode. Bye guys.